Oh boy, that's gonna be fun for later. Like, what the fuck was I doing at the beginning of this one? Oh, I don't know, just being a big jerk. Just whistling. Whistling man. I'm so glad you didn't ask why the tablecloth was not on the table anymore, because I would have to tell you about how that happened. Oh, should I ask? I mean... I mean, like, now I'm going to ask, because now I'm curious. Penny was just chilling with me, right? Uh-huh. She just decides to stick her entire rear leg into my teacup, directly into the center. Oh my god. And then lifts it, but at an angle, so the whole teacup spills on the tablecloth, on the camera, on both of our external hard drives there. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. And it was still hot, because I'd just gotten it. And then she just walks away, like... Yeah, whatever, I just messed up everything. And okay, I just are you ready? tea over the hard drive and my camera. Yep. The nice camera, not my garbage. Not the bad camera. Garbage. Alright, I'm gonna talk to everyone. Alright. I'm gonna talk to everybody. Starting with Mackle. Give, give him like each a little kiss. A little... Maybe he accepted... Oh. Maybe he accepted because he couldn't handle Kibo's destruction anymore? No, that can't be the reason. That's right. Even Kibo said it himself. He'd only be... Uh, able to withstand the Exocell's attacks until dawn. What are you trying to And why did Monokuma agree to this so easily? No. Because it'd be oh, fun. I can't, it for sure. I can't say for sure, but we can't be distracted by that. That's true. That's true, no matter what he's plotting. Hey. We're ready to end this killing game, right? That's it. Yes, with this class trial. We okay. Next person on our list is Yumiko Hemeno. We're having another class trial, but this will be the final one, right? Okay. Yes, that's right. This okay. will be the final trial. I guess. Okay? I guess. I mean, if okay. you really wanted to, you could kill someone if you wanted to. Well, that was it. All right. No. I'm sure they won't. If anything happened to Kibo right now, it would be a it wouldn't be a fair trial that Monokuma insists on. I see. Oh, I see. So it's okay. The four of us and Kibo. Yeah. By combining the minds of our friendship, we can overcome this class trial. Okay. <laughs> Jace is like, I've waited days to play this game because of testing. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's gonna end. Flash and I'm forward. Gonna have, like nothing to look forward to in my life. <laughs> oh my god. Well, actually, there's a lot to do after this. So. What if there's another? Yeah, that's also true. What if there's another um, Dong Rupa in the future, James? You there is. It. This is the last game. It's the last game? Yeah. It's not. It's the last game. <laughs> you couldn't even say that without fucking <laughs> smiling. Because <laughs> I just thought of that being fact and that there's literally no other video games that will ever come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the last game ever of yeah. all games. The next time we come out of the trial grounds, it'll all be over, right? Right? Yeah. It would explain why Bamco is just sitting on whatever's coming out next for Tails. We can win, right? Okay. Of course. It's okay. It'll be okay. This class trial should be much easier than the others. What? We've got this bitch, Art, this time. Up until now, we've had to find the culprits among the people in our group during class trials. That's why we couldn't work together even when we wanted to. But in this time, it's different. I see. Ah, oh, since there isn't a culprit among us, we can work together without any doubt. Wow. We're all going to be working together this time. I already feel more at ease. But I wish it happened sooner. At the beginning, there were 16 of us, and now there are... Only enough people that I can count on my hands. Oh. All of my hands. It's like more arms <laughs> rise up. All of my hands. My hands like come out of her shirt and just start like. All of like, my <laughs> <laughs> Some hands start coming out of her Smoogie, mouth. Smoogie, no. Stop, that's weird. <laughs> it's not weird, it's totally weird. We're about to head to the last battle. Why are you so depressed? Oh, sorry, you're right. I need to get more pumped! Up the trail! Oh, up and up! Thank you for waiting! Kibo! Kibo! I'm glad you remembered my name, Shuichi. His weapons have been removed. I suppose we don't have to worry about him attacking my butt. 
What, are you disappointed? Did you prefer the sci-fi gear after all? Look at Kai's ear. Oh my gosh, what a sleepy boy. He's a really sleepy boy. Look at him, he can't even move. His ears can't even stand up. He's so sleepy, he's a little sleepy boy. Look at that sleepy boy. Says, book. And sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> he's just sitting there taking our fucking insults. Oh, oh now he's going back to sleep. Right. Sleepy boy. Of course he's going to go back to sleep. No, it's not that. Everyone. I'm just very sorry. Kibo bowed at the waist of two eyes. I acted recklessly and put you all in ser serious danger. Everyone. I'm sorry, very sorry. What? Huh? What's wrong? You're totally different from where you were in battle mode. Um. <laughs> Shuichi, you told me earlier not to give up hope. Kibo. And then I did that. Kibo. And it was destructive, okay. and now we're here with this trial. That's right. Because you're an ass. Oh, wait a minute. I finally realized that you were right. My inner voice told me... Oh, his thing is back. Oh, they repaired him! Oh, my God. Oh, okay. my God. <laughs> Your inner voice? I thought you said you couldn't hear it anymore. Well, I had the monocubs repair me in addition to removing my battle gear. And now, for some reason, I can hear my inner voice again. So he can hear it again after the repairs. But it looks like his hair looks like an antenna. <laughs> Does that mean it wasn't just decoration? And now that I think about it, what is his inner voice exactly? What does he hear? I was wrong to try and destroy everything just to avoid losing despair. Even if I had followed through, there would have been no hope or future left afterward. In which case, my actions would have merely resulted in a different despair altogether. I do not expect you to forgive me. What I did was foolish. 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 Penis! But will you allow me to fight alongside you? I want to help you find the truth. Please! Of course, Kibo. That's what I wanted from the start. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been able to do this. So you'll allow me? Oh, he's back. Oh, you seem angry, Zumugi. Would you prefer I not help? I'm not man. I'm just holding myself back from slapping you! Oh! Come at me! Come at me! No! Oh! Oh, she's slapping with both hands now. She's slapping with both hands. <laughs> I'm sorry, I dropped my sketchbook, but it was working. <laughs> when someone says please that strongly, I always want to respond with, but I refuse. But I can't read the mood here, so I'm holding back. <laughs> That's really stupid. Well, well, of course. You're fine. Yeah, I'm okay now. Of course you can fight with us, Kibo. Oh, I'm just a five and play hero. Oh, I'm playing the master mind. Master mind. Shirogane. Master mind. <laughs> it's so fun to do her voice, isn't I know. it? <laughs> Dude, now that I have my like uh, my laryngitis isn't as bad. It's just like Oh shit, sorry. Wait, hold on. Oh. <laughs> uh, there is a big wall between living things and objects, but you're our friend, Kibo. Aw. Thank you. Thanks. Uh by the way, Maki, I've been meaning to ask you, but what is that vacuum cleaner you're carrying? I'm scared of it. <laughs> she turns it on and he fucking jumps on top of a building to escape, starts hissing. <laughs> it's the bug vac. I think Kokichi designed it and Miu made it. Ah, yes. Gonta had mentioned something about tiny bugs before. Okay. Oh, sorry. I thought that was. That sounded a lot like Kibo. Wait, yes. you just want me to fucking read everything? I thought it could be a clue to something. <laughs> But we can't keep seem to catch any bugs with it. It doesn't seem like there are any. So it really was just Gonta's imagination after all. Wait, it might be too soon to determine that. Can we wait until I've examined it with my eyes at least? With your body? <laughs> with your eyes, your, your special eyes. Your body? Your body. Is definitely well balanced. Oh, let's talk to you. Hello! Kimo seems completely different from earlier. Maybe it's like equipping all those weapons enhanced his feelings, too. It's from that one thing. It happens with the cosplay, too. When you wear a cosplay, you start acting like that character. Like Juga! Oh, 
Baki, you brought that thing with you, huh? You act like you're cold and distant, but you're surprisingly warm and serious. I finally feel like I figured out how close we are now. We're not close at all. I'm. S I don't know why. I'm sorry. I. I'm alive. You're alive. That's about as far as it goes. Yeah, we've we've never talked. With Kibo's eyes, huh? If Gonta couldn't even see it, I doubt Kibo would be able to see it either. Um, what do you mean, Kibo? You. What can your what good can your eyes do? It's not like you've got good eyesight, right? Yeah. That was true, until I installed my zoom function. Huh? Is this why that, that post you did was a spoiler? Your was zoom it? zoom function. Did yes. I post it as a spoiler? You, you posted a, uh, a thing where he holds up a box and his eyes zoom into it. Yeah, and I'm really hoping his eyes extend out. <laughs> yeah. I think it was just a crack from uh, Futurama where he's like, yeah. Bender's like, I'm gonna use my super robot vision and just breaks the fucking box by extending his eyes. <laughs> yeah. But... <laughs> I think it was a crack on like how shitty he was as a robot, but I don't know if that person who made that comic was later like. Well, they tagged oh, shit, spoilers, dog. right? They did. I'm pretty sure you're like. I did not. So right. if they did. Well, I mean, I don't think that's. I don't think it's a big spoiler, obviously, but it, it'll be really funny if his eyes extend out. <laughs> okay, well. Anyway. I would love that. It was in my lab next to the jetpack and rocket launcher. Thanks to that zoom function, my vision has increased a hundredfold. Huh? A hundred full. What did you say? That's a power-up that goes way past your default settings. But... This is the true talent of the ultimate robot. Because I'm a robot, I can evolve in ways that are simply not possible for a human. Oh, he's embracing it! Uh. I finally accepted that. There are notable differences between us, but they're nothing for me to be ashamed of. I also... Because with my talent, it's possible that I can save you all. He's a good boy. Kibo took the bug back from Maki and... Leave it to me. He started licking it. It's worth a shot. At maximum zoom, my vision is on par with that of a microscope. Oh, look at that little boy. Look at that little boy. Okay, I'm sorry. Where? Oh my god, they're back to back. Where's the fucking camera? Uh, oh, it's oh, on the mantle. Is it the black one? Yeah, he's the black one. Really mad if it's on the same coin. Can I get a flash on here? I mean, you could do one without one with. <coughs> I see you. <coughs> okay, I think I did that. Thank you, my dude. Thank you, I asked you to do that. Maki, I'll borrow this bug vac for a moment. He stared at it intensely. <laughs> I see it. I'll print out this memory. The oh memory no! <laughs> Are you kidding? It's got a little camera. <laughs> oh Just my god. Just as before, Kibo printed a picture from right out of his mouth. He took it from his lips and handed it to me. <laughs> I kissed it and handed it back. And he oh handed my it back God. to me. It's adorable. It's a little baby <laughs> Monokuma. Is this Monokuma? Hey. What are these? Are these the small bugs that Gonto was talking about? Yes. A human's eyes would not be able to see things that exist at a nanoscopic level. For Gonto to have noticed them, his vision really was superhuman. Hey. Hey, what are these things holding? Are they holding cameras? Well then. Why don't we ask them? Huh? We can talk to this? Leave it to me. Yes, I've already installed an augmented hearing function. What was that? I guess anything is possible. Oh now boy. he starts acting like a robo. Start talking now, or I'll squish you one by one. Whatever function you serve, you'll be unable to carry it out. Do you accept these terms? Kibo asked in a way that made it sound like here is not up for negotiation. They call themselves nanobeams. Apparently they're members of the monocups. What? This little thing? And they were actually six monocups? Not quite. These don't exist as individuals, but rather as a hive mind. They travel through the air in a swarm, covering every square inch of this campus. 
It's so it's not just one, it's a whole swarm of monocubs. It's a record footage of the events that are unfolding here and transmit it to Monokuma. What? Using their tiny cameras, they record footage and transmit it wirelessly. They're little tiny cameras, they're nano cameras. <laughs> I like how they're not cameras with wings, they're monokumas holding tiny cameras. Yeah, exactly. They couldn't just have the monokumas be recording things. <laughs> they have to look like monokumas holding tiny cameras and wearing tiny headphones. Yeah, <laughs> because that's just how fucking extra Junko is. Of like. course. Monokuma receives the footage and phrases, uh, parses it before sending it off to monokuma. You mean... Like a security camera? You mean? They're so small that they can't be seen with the naked eye. They must be se the security cameras. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. The sixth monocub is adorable. I don't want to admit it, but I agree. Also, probably because they're quiet and not obnoxious and impregnate <laughs> each other. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, and they've been recording the footage wirelessly. Oh, okay, Mom. Wow. Remember how Gonto was, like, seeing tiny bugs everywhere? Yeah. Right. They are, in fact, tiny monokumas with cameras. Wait, hold on. <laughs> that exist on the nanoscopic level. Hold so on. Gonto's vision is insane, but also, uh, that is happening. Yeah, that's it's what they look really like! Funny. They have little bug wings. That's why Gonto kept seeing them. Um, also, uh, Kibo's back to normal because his antenna got replaced. Alright, cool. Just making sure you, you got cut up. Alright. Uh, Kokichi was correct to use the Electrobomb. When he used it, the Nanokumas were unable to send any footage back to Monokuma. Yes, in that case, I doubt Monokuma would know the real culprit. Uh, the more I learned, the more I wish that Kokichi had just worked with us normally. But... It's impossible. No matter how many times he reincarnates, he's a liar down to his soul. I never would have imagined that the sixth monocub would be security cameras. <laughs> That's how Monokuma was able to keep watch of this entire facility. He's toying with us. He's not just confident. He's sure he's going to win. I know that must be what he's thinking. Oh, yeah. At least we know that important detail now. I'm glad you told us before the class trial. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Kibo, you fucking little bitch. By the way. You just really fucked me, Mary. I think that's a real that dialogue is. Yeah. No, I read it. You just weren't, you didn't see it. Yeah. Jeez, Mom. Like, listen. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a shitty it thing like to say. Yeah. Really uh, <laughs> Don't Europa is child friendly. You're welcome, but we should get going now. That's true. You're welcome. You're yeah, welcome. we don't know what Monokuma will do if we show up late. That's fine. You're right. Let's start heading to the trial grounds. Okay. 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 Let's do it. Ramble, 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 ramble. Ramble, ramble. A mommy. <laughs> it's me. Ramble, a mommy. <laughs> he starts introducing his family. <laughs> this is mommy, a mommy. <laughs> <laughs> mommy, a mommy. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is ramble, mommy, a mommy. <laughs> Tamble, mommy, and mommy. They're just like, all right, we, we get it. All right, let's go. Mona, mommy, and Mona. That's you, bitch. That's you. Oh god, we only need to think about getting out of here alive. I'm so excited, and so we put the destroyed ultimate academy behind us, and head to the final trial grounds. Ranch dressing a mom. I'm level sixty nine. Shit, piece of shit garbage. <laughs> Fucking pizza. Goddamn piece of shit. Carrying the last of the survivors, the elevator brought us down. What could we be waiting for the five of us? I'm sure this is the end of despair. And the beginning of despair. Everything ends here. Everything. The killing game of Hope's Peak Academy. The killing game of Jabberwock Island. The killing game of this ultimate academy. How much more until they're satisfied? This is the end of it. I'm tired of this. You know, We're going to end it. We're going to end this act. Cruel game. You know, you know at the end of V3, like, everybody's fucking red from the second game? Yeah. Do you think they had any hard feelings for being murdered by each other? 
I don't know, maybe. Like, dude, I can't believe you fucking killed me. Yeah, That's really? so fucked up. Yeah, seriously, you fucking killed me, you asshole? I was just trying to have a party, and I invited everyone, and you snuck under the floor with a shish kebab. What the fuck? You killed me over a video game? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That was really cool, Devin. Yeah. Good on you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, oh, fucking need I and Gundam Res, and they just, like, have this super cool, like, bro, They're like, handshake. Yeah. yeah, it's, like, the most powerful thing. Everyone in the in the vicinity feels it. They're just, like, <laughs> just a little rumble, yeah. So this is the final trial grounds. Bro AF. It's not up to you or me to decide whether or not this is the end. What do you mean? More important than that people tweet in their phone. Oh my god. <laughs> More importantly, since you guys requested that we hold this class trial... This conversation is going nowhere. You little bitch, listen to me. I'm sure you wouldn't mind allowing me to participate too, right? It'll be easier to argue if I do. That's true. True, I was going to have you participate this time, but I didn't think you'd volunteer. I was gonna make you. You seem confident. Mom. Mom. <laughs> With my magic. You're confident now, but I'm gonna turn your body into an omnibus with my magic. Actually, oh, an omnibus? Do you mean a vehicle or like a compilation vehicle? Oh my god, I got stuck in my throat and then I thought about Knock telling it you. Up. I won't be provoked by your cheap threats. <laughs> he seems really provoked. Yeah, but. Pops is gonna participate. Things are gonna get pretty damn interesting. Father! You can do it, Father! Get a rock hard ranger! We'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll cheer you on until our voices are hoarse and bleeding, right, Monodum? <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> cheer me on! You guys are totally participating too. <laughs> <laughs> you kids have a pivotal role to play. What kind of dad would I be if I hogged the spotlight? And if you kids don't play a pivotal role, then what use are any of you? Um, pivotal role? Can we really do it? I don't know. <laughs> Looking forward to it. As a good parent, I will do my darndest to motivate you. Well, With this button. What? What's that button for? It's a monocup detonator that I prepared to ensure my adorable kids would do their very best. D detonator? Yeah. Yep, with a push of this button, I'll detonate the bombs inside each of your bodies. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you try really hard or I'll start pressing this button. You got it? That's how our mom raised us. <laughs> Same. That's too far. <laughs> You know what they say, if your kids are cute, put a bomb inside of them. You stupid. That's not a real saying. I know you cute kids can do this. You just need proper motivation. What the fuck, Penny? So no need to worry. Just make sure you play all pivotal roles. That's oh, that's all. That's okay. Okie dokie. E. How absurd. You really are the worst. <laughs> I'm the best at being the worst, don't you think? I tell ya, people can't get enough of my crude antics. Let's get started. Let's get this crude climax underway. Oh boy. Cutscene time? Halfway through the trial, it just becomes Bayonetta. You just hear, fly me to the moon. Fly me to the moon. Let me fly on my little She's cosplaying Bayonetta. <laughs> <laughs> she finally gets to cosplay. Little fucking backgrounds of rainbow. That makes me faster. <laughs> Dude, what are you gonna do if she is the mastermind and like switches voices? Or are you gonna keep the voice? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the voice, but if she does like switch between voices, I'm gonna have to like like go like switch with hers, but like it's the same voice. This is slightly different. That's gonna be fun. Alright. Yep, no, I can't buy anything. That's new. right, Pops! You said it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> now with the monocubs, they all have different voices. It's fine. <laughs> they do. What if she takes their voice? I have no idea where the fuck to start. Ass trial! Oh.
<laughs> Can I tell is, you? Is he asleep? <laughs> I got you, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Trial was his idea. I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, I have a kid in my class, and he was misbehaving a lot today, but his name is Asser. Oh. His name is Asser. Asser, yeah. You have to say it Asser. I'm like, it's not Acer or... A-S-S. Asser. Yeah. What a great way to be assertive. <laughs> That's it. There's the winner. Than I expected. Kind of like he had a roll today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no slouch of being a lab math either. Me too. Monogam's voice is super soft, though. Everyone cool with him getting blown up? You said that the killing game would end if you exposed the truth at the class trial. So, you bastards, what is the purpose of this class trial? Oh, that's a good question. When his voice is quiet, the purpose of this class trial. All right, I'll give you an answer. The reason I called for this trial is. Retry past case. That's it. Yeah, boy! We're on the start. I'm so upset. Retrial? Which case? The first one. Rantar, oh mommy! I found new evidence relevant to the case. In light of that evidence, I demand a retrial. What's the point of a retrial? The result of the first class trial has already been settled. Yeah, yeah. What if our vote was wrong? Ron? When the comics with the blackened for that incident was created. Are you saying he was wrong? <laughs> oh shit, he's already got the detonator! To test the validity of our vote, we're going to retry the entire case. If Monokuma was wrong, the validity of these trials would be in question. The entire killing game wouldn't make sense anymore. I see. You think you can destroy the game by calling out my failure as the game master? You shouldn't have a problem with this if you have nothing to hide, Monokuma. <laughs> so in the end, the first case has become the focal point yet again. What a twist. What an interesting twist. So what is the secret? There are several. But before we go any further, I want to discuss Rantaro's talent. Did you learn what his talent was? <laughs> Rantaro's ultimate talent was a mystery, but now I know. Rantaro's ultimate quiz master. Ultimate mastermind. Ultimate victim? Ultimate victim! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like he's getting there. He was the ultimate survivor. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first rodeo. You're the ultimate survivor. Hi, little boy. You survived the last rodeo. Oh. That's why you get this perk, the survivor perk. Rantaro became the ultimate survivor after surviving a past killing. Game. He became the ultimate survivor. And what was he? Before? I, what was he? Okay, never mind. I'm just not gonna ask. I thought the reason he survived the last killing game was because he was the ultimate survivor. Just never mind. Maybe Shuichi's just making a stupid thing. What could be localization too? Why did he participate in the second killing game? I'm not sure yet. But after I learned that Rantaro was the ultimate survivor, I deduced his objective. Rantaro's objective? The reason he went to the library before he was killed, and why he knew about the hidden door. Didn't he just happen to randomly notice the hidden door? That's what I thought at the time. But it appears that assumption was false. There was an actual reason Rantaro knew about the door. Yes, that reason is... Um, survivor perk. That's it! 
that shit. Rantara was given this monopad as a kind of survivor perk. It has a map of the entire academy, including areas that have not yet been unlocked. Of course, that includes the hidden room. To think Rantara was given that as a survivor perk. The monopad also contained a video Rantaro recorded for himself. If the mastermind ever needed a spare monokuma, they would head to the hidden room. The message was what inspired him to go to the library to investigate the hidden room. Mastermind would have gone to that room to mass produce Monokuma once again. So, in order to figure out who the Mastermind was, Rantaro went to the hidden room at the back of the library just before time ran. That's right. Rantaro must have come to the same conclusion that Kaede and I did. Or is ironic that the ultimate survivor died because of Kaede's crap. <laughs> but if Rantaro had a clue like that, why didn't he come to us with it? I assume because he didn't trust us. The killing game had just started, after all. What he said in his video message certainly didn't help, either. He told himself to only share this information with people he could trust. Suki, want some of that chico? Your chicken? He didn't have any recollection of filming this message, right? That means he must have had trouble believing it as well. Is it okay for Suki to have some of my chicken? Yeah. Alright. It was probably confusing to him, too. That's why he didn't consult us. <laughs> why the long face? It's nothing. I figured no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? <laughs> Sweats. <laughs> this is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do, so what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... What the fuck, dude? Can I even trust myself? He didn't know if he could trust that video, or trust us, or even trust himself. He must have been so lost. But with the time limit approaching, he decided to take a chance. There's no need for that because I'm going to end this killing game. It's already, I've already decided. Um. Oh. Oh my god. Uh, you're going to end this killing game? It's not even about, it's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's a real goal. Penny, will you get in my lap so I can read the subtitles? Can you even accomplish such a feat? Wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. <laughs> <laughs> Cocky grin. <laughs> he went to the library alone without telling anyone. And then he got killed by Kaede's trap. The only people who knew about the hidden door at that time were Rantaro and I. I had Kaede with me, and I thought I could trust her, so I told her about the hidden room. That was the difference between me and Rantaro, I suppose. I had Kaede. And Kaede's the one who killed him! What a snake! <laughs> hey, so what are you guys talking about? Is this something I forgot? Ooh. I don't know anything about what they're saying! Is this something that transpired before we were born? So what's your point? You know who Rantaro was and why he did what he did. But it's pointless now, isn't it? No, it's not pointless. Now that we know this new information, if we look back at Rantaro's case, we can find a new truth that we missed at the time. A new truth? Better really get it. So we just need to look at Rantaro's case again, right? Then let's do it. Yes, let's do this together. For that magical powers, I'll 
I'm, I'm not too sure either, but the ba battle is really... I'm so tired, it's been like one heck of a day. We'll prove that the result was wrong and corner the mastermind <laughs> together. It's been one heck of a night, haha. <laughs> Scrap it later. Mantara went to the library just before Monokuma's time limit started. Using the information provided by the survivor, he made his way to the hidden door. He exposed the identity of the mastermind. But before he could achieve that goal, he got hit in the head with a shot he fell and died. Because of Kaede's fully automatic killing machine. Huh? Fully automatic? <laughs> There was no culprit at the scene. This sounds even cooler than what it was. The only one in the library at the time of the murder was Rantaro himself! That's a fact, right? The camera went off just before the incident. And only Rantaro was in the picture. There's a 30 second delay. Rantaro went to the library. Just before my That's not one of the options. I think it's going to be a hidden door in the library. Maybe? Master like Silencer. Like she was Comes there was shut no up. culprit at the scene. That's what makes it difficult. The only one in the library at the time of the murder was Rantaro himself. Himself. Oh, oh damn. Oh. Rantaro went to the library. Then it must be. Just before Monokuma's time limit expired. So it's not hidden door. So it might be survivor's perk Monokuma. I'm not really sure. Hmm. I mean, that was something we should probably bring up. Body by the survivor. He made his way to the hidden door. He exposed the identity of the master. What was the first thing that freaking anyone's face is? Before he could achieve that goal, he got hit in the head with a shot for falling down. Yep, that's true. Because of Kaede's fully automatic killing machine. Nice. What'd you use? Monopad? Yeah, the monopad. Gotcha. I, at first I used the yeah, I gotta be paying more attention. I'm like getting in this drawing and I shouldn't be. Hip. Yeah. Rip. Yeah, that's what I meant when I threw the freaking library door because they could have been inside the secret room or whatever. This survivor perk monopad is proof of that. Why did that monopad be evident? The monopad was given exclusively to Rantaro as his survivor perk, correct? But when we searched Rantaro's body, he didn't have it on his person. He only had his student handbook monopad. Which means that someone took this monopad from Rantaro after the murder. That's very wrong! Whoa! That's very wrong. <laughs> What's all of them? Wow, that's what we've been saying! What? Uh, keep quiet, will you? I don't have time for your nonsense right now. Oh my gosh, Shirichi getting really? sassy. We don't chime in soon. Pops is gonna push the detonator. So we better not let these fucking chumps run their mouths anymore. So truly, I'm sweating. Oh my god, I have to fight all five of them at once. A bloody monopad is disgusting. You should watch it right away. <laughs> Survivor Port Monopad to the library. Probably if it's missing right now, now, that must mean someone stole it. The time's a little off on those words. You brought but... that monopad to the library? I think there's maybe no way that's possible. All they had on him was the student handbook monopad. He didn't bring 
bring the survivor perk with him. Yeah, you got a picture. I'll cut through your words. I'll cut through your dick. Ow. Oh. Oh no! There's no doubt Randall brought the Survivor Perk monopad to the library. The picture taken just before he died clearly shows him holding it. That could be his student handbook monopad, bro. You fucking know. No, it was definitely the same monopad. You see the way the blood is dry here? The outline of his fingers matches how he was holding it in the picture. Oh, you're right. Shortly after this photo was taken, Rantara was struck in the head by the shots that fall. Do you think that's when this bloody outline on the monopad was formed? I do. That's why the monopad Rantara was holding in this picture. It has to be the same monopad we have now. What? Look like we're not getting attention. Scream all you want! Monaskey's the one that's gonna get blown up! <laughs> 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 Rip forever. I was so upset my juke cut blossom that my finger flipped! But those were some pretty fireworks. Even in death, my kid's a real cutie! I hear lions push their cubs into bottomless ravines to kill them. They won't kill them. So there was a thief, huh? I can't believe someone would do something so evil. So who took the monopad? Do you know anything else? Do you know anything about the person who took Rantaro's monopad? Yes, I think we do. Let me get the facts straight and think. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, boy. It could be one of the first people into the library, or it could be... I guess Kaede, because we were investigating his body, right? And she could stuff it in her backpack. That's true. I think they're just going to be like, who's the ma it's a mastermind. Where do we find the monopad or something like that, right? And it's gonna be a mastermind. The answer's gonna be the mastermind had it the whole time. Fucking wall. How many monopads? And two. The Brary. The Brary. Yeah, it would be two, right? Yeah, because he had the normal one and he had the survivor perk on it. Yeah, but how do you carry them both? They're both pretty big. One fits in your pocket, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Those are two. Uh, maybe he did only have one. Go for four. Four. Yeah, it was too. Woo! How many dicks? He just asks. How many dicks? One of the questions was Does Kibo have a penis? <laughs> yes, no. They're just like sweating. <laughs> All the, the billboards are just Kibo's horrified face and <laughs> Shiri, uh, not Shirichi's, like Kokichi's smiling one. <laughs> Tricky too laughing. <laughs> Like how when you get it all, they just kind of auto control your car to run into the wall for some reason. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Uh, Survivor Perk. I'm in the right lane! Going directly into oncoming traffic. You hit one of them and instead of hearing, you hear screams, like horrific screams. <laughs> Her body drags on your tire. Like. 
Who's that he's talking to? He's talking, that's him talking to the principal. We saw it CG. Oh. Gotcha. Who may or may not be Nayagi? Yeah, that's what it looked like. Secret room. Oh god, I keep I dodge them. I dodge them all. Yeah, it's clear to dodge them and uh, risk it for a letter. Final trial, so we gotta do at least like one of each. Yeah. It's probably gonna be a final mine mine and a final one that nobody likes that shows up in every game for some reason. Come on, seriously? They had no choice but to get in the leftmost lane. They couldn't move at full speed, I had to break. Well, you eliminate the cars when you hit them, at least. That's true. And I got a little extra. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no! I can't break. <laughs> I can slow down time, but I don't know if it really helps. Oh. Who can enter the hidden room? The last man. Oh, it's a movie. Ass to the center. Is it ass, ass to, to the, the center? center? Ass to the center. No, ass to the yeah, I called it like 30 minutes ago. What the answer to this driving time would be. The one who took that monopath is the mastermind. I'm sure of it. The mastermind? The Survivor Perk monopad was found in the library's hidden room, and only the mastermind would have been able to enter that room, correct? Between the time I and Hala died and when we found him, they put that monopad in the hidden room? No! That's impossible! Impossible? Why? Huh? You don't know? Why, even my cute little cubs have already figured it out! Huh? We have? Yeah, so... I'll let Monotaro explain. Huh? I've already forgotten what we're even talking about. Oh, he's gonna push it! It's gonna be Monica all over again! The mastermind is not in any of the photos taken in the library. Why is that? <laughs> Monodam saving them all. Oh, that's true. Good work, Monodam. Go work. To get to the Go work. Room, you need to move the bookcase, right? But Shuichi and Kaede set up those hidden cameras, so... If the Mastermind was using that door, they would have been caught on camera. But none of the pictures showed anyone like that. Then, that reasoning is wrong. Amazing, Monica! Well done! Hold on. The hidden cameras in the library had interval time. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. Because I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. Perhaps the mastermind worked within that 30 second camera? I see. So the mastermind hid in the hidden room, waited for the right timing, grabbed the monopad from the library, and then returned to the hidden room. <laughs> Hold on! There's a flaw in your logic. What? What flaw? Huh? Don't ask me. The mono cubs are gonna explain it. 
What? <laughs> He's such a shit lord. <laughs> Monophony like jumped in the air when he said that. Check <laughs> your logic without explaining why. That's the Monokuma debate style. Take it from here, Monocubs. And you better use your brains or I'll kill ya. <laughs> you have to play as the Monocubs during their seeking time. Oh my god. Mastermind's not in any photos. Unless they use the interval between shots. The camera has a 30 second interval between shots. That's enough time to take the monopet from the body. Then where was the mastermind hiding? In the hidden room, of course! If they were still inside the hidden room, how would they know what was happening in the library? Mm. If you don't know when the camera went off, how would you know the interval timing? Bravo, Minor Duck! Wonderful objection! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 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 yeah! Get back. The mastermind saw what was happening in the library. They had surveillance cameras. Surveillance cameras? What? Where would something like that be? You don't know? Even though there are monocubs just like you? Monocubs? I mean these. <laughs> Aren't they? They're your siblings, too! Then the big reveal that drops so casually. <laughs> These little guys are called nanocoolers. Their job is to monitor the campus. How do you know that? Oh, Father told me. He said to make sure I told everyone. <laughs> and he fucking I forgot. <laughs> forgotten about it. Good thing I just remembered. Dumbass! You remember too late! There are countless nanokumas buzzing all over the campus. All the footage they record is wirelessly transmitted through Mother Kuma, and then sent to Monokuma. Yes, via Mother Kuma. That's an important point. If Mother Kuma receives the camera feeds, the mastermind could ask it anything. They would know about the situation in the library and the hidden room. I see. Mother Kuma can tell them the interval timers for the cameras. Then the mastermind was in the hidden room after they stole the monopad from Rantaro. But why would they steal the monopad? The mastermind was probably terrified by the idea of us picking up Rantaro's perk. No, that's wrong! What? I wasn't necessarily afraid. The survivor perk was for Rantaro's eyes only. Sure, he could have shared the info with you. But that's not the same as getting the info directly from the monopad. Because then you can't say it was a survivor perk for Rantaro's eyes only, right? So when he died, I took it back. That's all. I don't know about that. Hmm. How do you figure? You were calm now, but at the time, you must have been pretty desperate. The monopad clearly stated that there was a mastermind in the academy. If we knew then that a mastermind was behind everything, we would have worked together. But you couldn't let that happen. You needed us to go after each other. Either way, you admit the mastermind stole the monopad, right? Well, yes, but don't be reluctantly. Then the mastermind messed up. If they wanted to retrieve the monopad, they should have used Monokuma to do it. No, that's impossible. The rules think I can't participate in a murder, which includes tampering with the crime scene. 
the school of rules. If you're so strict about following the rules, does that mean that someone is watching? If that's the case, Phil, what a waste of a survivor perk! If only he lived a little longer, then this info would have made things interesting. Stop changing the subject. I still don't have the whole picture, but it seems that we're all being watched. In that case, this plan should go well. If I ruin this killing game by proving that it doesn't follow its own rules, I should be able to end the whole thing. But the point of this class trial is to discuss Rantaro's case, right? The mastermind stealing his survivor perk shouldn't affect it whatsoever. In the end, Ayede killed him. There's no shaking off that truth. Yeah, yeah! One truth prevails! No, that's not the truth. I'm certain of that. It's a lie that you made up. Me? That's right. Hayati wasn't the one who killed Rantaro. The true culprit is... Me. <laughs> I did it. What? <laughs> yeah, I hit him with the shot football. They're the one who killed Rantaro. Dude, I've been asking that question the whole game. <laughs> oh, a little pen plab, man. A little tiny pen plab. Rantaro's killer is the mastermind. That means Kayeti was the mastermind. Can you prove the mastermind is the culprit? Yeah, got the evidence. You want evidence? Kayeti is the culprit. The shot put ball at the murder scene. Also, her confession. The uh -huh. wants to lure Rantaro in. And cracked his skull with a shot put ball. Shot put ball. Yeah, I'm so glad the shot put. Came back. He keeps saying shot football. Oh. Why so interested in dead people? You wanna crack open a cold one? <laughs> 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 Yeah, boy! <laughs> Her entire fucking portrait just comes in there. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah! Woohoo! It's a great, but it was not a great ball. I was looking for Pokeballs when. Kaede's backpack, she was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry it in a backpack. I noticed you also had a spare vest, in which you could have wrapped it in. That would have prevented the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. I see. She had it in her backpack. It was wrapped in her spare vest. Her pink vest. Her spare pink vest. No, I don't know where you're going with this. They're like, no, it's gray and teal. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's pink. Fiber from her vest. That can only mean that the ball I found was the one that was in Kaede's backpack. What did you say? Really? I got no idea what you're talking about. That shot football did not have blood on it, so it could not have been a murder weapon. In short, the shot that Kaede used didn't hit Rant
<laughs> Maybe they just washed off the blood. If so, the fiber on the chakra ball would have been washed off as well. It's clear to me that the real murder weapon is different than the shot Coyote had. Yes, Coyote set up the bookcase and rolled the shot into the vent. But that shot didn't hit Rantaro. Her plan failed. Failed? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> oh my god. Now that chocolate ball in the hidden room, then that means... I found the shot put ball in the hidden room because they found the mastermind took it. That's it! The mastermind took it from the library. Only they could get in that room after all. The mastermind took it? So they recovered the shot that missed Rantaro and he was killed by a different one. Rantaro was killed by the mastermind. Who made it look like Kaede was the culprit? Oh, no, so she was innocent. Yup. Required a bit of trickery on so the mastermind's part. What happens when they execute somebody who's innocent? That's the thing. That's They're true. fucking dead. <laughs> They're all dead, right? Why does he do this? He doesn't care if he kills everybody. No, they just needed to get the game going anyway. So Kaede had a plan in place, she would have believed she did it. Well, Unless Kaede's a mastermind, no, that wouldn't make any sense. I'm so confused. What, what do you mean? So, like. You're wondering why bring it brought this up if they were wrong this whole time. Yeah. It would also show well since if the mastermind is the one who did it, they hid the truth from everyone. Which makes the whole game unfair. come into question. Like if if they were to use a route or method that was unavailable or unknowable by any of the participants, then that would be cheating essentially and. They're, very, they're sticklers for the rules of this killing game. But yeah, because everyone who's watching, whoever's watching, uh, if, if they see this as unfair, then it's not going to be interesting. It's going to be like, oh, well, fuck this. Right? They could just set anybody up at any time. Exactly. They took Kaede's shot put ball and stowed it in the hidden room. To put it simply, Kaede didn't kill Rantaro. It was the mastermind. Uh... What? They killed- she killed the mastermind? Yes. She, she- her shot was true, she killed the mastermind. Oh no! Monodem, why? Ron- Ron- I got too worked up and accidentally pressed the detonator! The mastermind killed Rantaro? But why? I believe the reason has something to do with a time limit motive. Kaede was keeping us all together, and we refused to kill each other. To break up the stalemate, the mastermind introduced that motive. However, this was a gamble. We didn't want to cause total chaos after all. Because that would just end everything. They wanted an exciting killing game. That motive put pressure on the mastermind as well as us. Yes, Kaede had a plan to kill the mastermind, but Rantara was caught in the trap. However, her plan ultimately failed. The shot put ball that she rolled didn't hit Rantara. Because it missed, we would have been annihilated due to the time limit. But the mastermind wanted to avoid that situation, so they took action. Thanks to the nanokumas, the mastermind would have known Kaede's intended murder weapon. So when her plan failed, they would already have another shot put ball prepared. Then, the mastermind manipulated the scene to make it look like Kaede succeeded. All they had to do was hide Kaede's shot in the hidden room that only they could enter. Well, Kaede was executed on false charges? Yes. Yes, she was. She didn't actually kill anyone. She still totally intended to. So. She, had, <laughs> she had murderous intent. It was for the best of reasons, but it's still murderous intent. Because the mastermind framed her for Rantaro's murder. That's still messed up that she got framed, though. And yeah. Monokuma played along. He let us believe the mastermind's lie. We were all fooled. That means there are two characters in this game that had murders they planned and failed. Gee. <laughs> And you want to tell us this game is fair? That there are rules? That's all bullshit! This game makes no sense at all! 
<laughs> like how the goal of this trial is to say that this game makes no sense at all. <laughs> Dog Europa just doesn't make any sense. Tiny nano bears holding cameras? This game makes no sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> she just starts taking digs at our uh, own fucking game and then it just shuts off. It just goes <laughs> off completely. <laughs> the game just goes off. Probably the coolest lines written. Oh, it was it For fell Shirichi, right fucking on its face. But holy shit, that line. I will read. do that. I will do. I will never, never forgive them, them. and I, I will avenge Kaede. Kaede. I swear on her kindness and her love and her grave that I will. That I will avenge her. I wish he didn't sound like he was fucking. I will. Repeating <laughs> his order at a, a restaurant because. The, the waitress couldn't hear them over the ruckus. Yeah, of, of like, the kids screaming I, behind I want! I, I will avenge her! I, I will avenge her! No, it actually sounds kind of like he's been up all night, like, investigating and really has to poop, but won't admit it. <laughs> like, he's just like, he's like, oh, it's coming out! <laughs> like, just listen to it. <laughs> I will avenge her! It's very reminiscent of the terrible voice acting in Tales of Graces. Yeah. But at least they had the audacity to make fun of it in F. Yeah, it's not an incredibly <laughs> serious moment, and the coolest lines written. I will avenge my father's death. All right, Richard, you do that. Who says that? No, pass the buck? <laughs> yeah. Also yeah, I know, but like... <laughs> yeah, but who else? Like, what young people say. <laughs> oh. You say six of one, half a dozen <laughs> the other, and stuff like that. You're, you're like, those kids are like, when were you born? 1994? And I'm like... Honey... Look at me like no, that. No, Monokuma. I will end this. I will reveal the identity of the mastermind and end the killing game. I mean, you keep saying that, but... May I interject? You keep accusing this so-called mastermind, but... You sure there's even a mastermind at all? Are what? you sure you bastards aren't imagining it? If the mastermind is real, show them to us. Oh boy, here we go. You guys are the ones hiding them. It's possible the mastermind is still in this academy. The survivor perks said so. If they were involved in Rantaro's murder, there's no doubt. Then they must have snuck in during the Gopher Project and seen hidden in the account. Ah! You just on. What was that all about? I just realized something. I'm the mastermind! <laughs> <laughs> All, my, all the guys you date will be single fathers, curse. Kaede's younger twin sister! Her what? Younger twin sister? <laughs> Maki's like, what the fuck? She has a twin sister! It seems sort of weird to me. Jordi was so born! She had a twin too, right? Are you saying those same circumstances apply here as well? God. This killing game of evil will say more for the past one, right? Just gonna stick her foot in it and knock it over. the mastermind's real identity was too. The mastermind who snuck into the academy and made us play the sick game. The sick game. It's pretty sick. It's Kaede's twin sister. Maybe. I guess that's the possibility. Penny. And you come back here right now. There's no doubt that the mastermind is hiding somewhere in this school. How unfortunate that you couldn't find him during your final investigation. You're not allowed to leave while the trial's in session, so you can't search for them now. You can't leave during a trial unless you've got a pee. What about poo? I got a pee. What about my cadaver? 
I had his twin sister. The master, is the mastermind still hiding somewhere? Is she really the mastermind? Is it really that simple? I mean, they were bringing it up so early. Probably not. No, it's not. I'm sorry, Penny. You have so many knots. Nope, Pen. Oh god. The one you're all looking for comes to this room quite often. It implies that the mastermind wasn't in the hidden room the whole time. They must have been coming and going between the room and the academy, right? Would someone who has to stay completely hidden really risk that? Right. If they were trying to hide, they would have just stayed put. I see! That's some impressive logic! Oh, really, Pip? And during the investigation, I found a classroom that makes flashback lights. A classroom that makes flashback lights? Uh, I'll explain the details later. But there was something interesting. <coughs> right at that moment, the classroom door suddenly burst open. Whoosh! Whoosh! There you are, Shuichi! Yimiko! Huh? The classroom changed back to normal? When the door is open, the classroom reverts to its original state. Clearly, the room is hiding something. Isn't it obvious? The masterminds didn't want anyone to see them making flashback lights. But why create such a classroom at all? If the mastermind were a 17th person, they could have their own completely separate room to make flashback lights. Indeed, that would be much safer. Knowing this, we can make a few assumptions about the mastermind's identity. However, the implications aren't good. What an ominous way to say it. But there's nothing to worry about. We got this far because we're friends. Oh, man. In this together, no matter what, there's nothing to fear. <laughs> yeah, she's right. <laughs> She means well. <laughs> Considering the facts we have, my detective work points to the identity of the mastermind is. That's it. The mastermind is most likely <coughs> one of the participants of this killing game. 